I think that one of the high points of the whole debate last night was that Lindsey Graham was not on the stage. Rand Paul was not on the stage. I've really lost a lot of respect for him because of some of his comments about, um, about marriage. Uh, I think it was really refreshing that Carly was not on stage. I like her sometimes and other times I just don't. So anyway, I feel bad that Mike Huckabee is not on the stage. Rick Santorum, they, they just think of how fast things turn people. All right, I'm, I'm going to play a clip right now uh, between Bush and Trump regarding Trump's suggestion that we temporarily halt all Muslims. All right, play the clip. We don't have to have refugees come to our country, but all Muslims, seriously? You cannot make rash statements and expect the rest of the world to uh, respond as though, well, it's just politics. I want security. I'm tired of seeing what's going on between the border where the people flow over, people come in, they live, they shoot. I want security for this country. Really? Seriously, Donald? All Muslims? Yes. Now, <clears throat> I wish I could be an advisor to Mr. Trump just on this one point, because I know what I'm talking about, all right? I've studied Islam for 10 years. I have a master's degree in international terrorism, diplomacy and in international terrorism from a military school called Norwich University, very old and prestigious school. I know what I'm talking about, okay? Islam is the threat. The Boston bombers were here legally, okay? They weren't from Syria. Are you hearing me? The San Bernardino woman was here legally. She was not from Syria. It's not a matter of banning Syrian refugees. The, 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 the hijackers from 9-11, they were not from Syria, and they were here legally. What do they all have in common, people? They were all Muslims. Are you going to say that uh, you're going you're gonna to temporarily halt people coming from Turkey, our NATO ally? Uh, yes. Yes, I am, because recently <laughs> they did a poll in Turkey, and it showed that five, or rather 20%, 21% of them believed that ISIS represented Islam. ISIS represented Islam. That's what they said. So if you have Turkish people coming here, Muslim, devout Muslim people who say, one in five of them statistically would say, yes, ISIS does in fact represent Islam. Can anyone see that that's an actual threat? Can anyone see that, as far as I know right now, none of the attacks that have happened on American soil involving foreign-born Muslims, none of them were from Syria? How much proof do we need? None are as blind as the willfully blind. And the, the end of the matter is this, and this is what Mr. Trump has not yet said. I'll say it because I know it's true. That Islam itself, the so-called religion of Islam, which is a religious, political, socioeconomic blueprint for the takeover of the world. Okay, that's what it is. It is to religion what communism was to, well, it is to politics and world domination what communism was to politics and world domination. An ideology bent on controlling the world with a certain set of laws and beliefs, all right? Islam is the threat, and therefore Muslims who say, I believe in Islam, could be an agent of that threat. Therefore, we have to have a temporary ban on them coming into the country. The end. Is it that hard to figure out? Thank <laughs> you.